<laughs> you'll have to excuse me, my uh, fate of black's not working at the moment. But hello there, I'm Guru Larry. Now ever since the Second World War, us Brits relied on public information films, that's what we call PSAs over here, to protect us from acts of complete retardation. In the early days, it was simple things like using a handkerchief when you sneeze. Come here, what do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? Or the Ministry of Food warning us about explosive stews. Stop! That pot of stew could be dangerous. As dangerous as a stick of dynamite in the hands of a child. And by the time the 1970s rolled around, they had celebrities protecting us from the bleeding obvious. Such as pop stars like Alvin Stardust. You must be out of your tiny minds. Don't worry if you don't know who he is. No one in the UK under the age of 25 does either. Showing us it's safer to cross the road if we have a dead cat in our heads. Be safe. And this football stars like Jimmy Hill, Jimmy Hill, think teaching twice. us to think, think twice. twice. Think twice. But come the second half of that decade and into the 80s, they decided it'd be far more entertaining to scare the shit out of kids instead, with films like this Donald Pleasant voiced paedophilic Grim Reaper who enjoys pulling kids into lakes for some reason. Sense of children. Watching kids fry on electricity pylons. And worst of all, having Doctor Who shout Splink at us. Splink! But by the late 70s, they really upped the ante on giving kids nightmares by making a certain film about the horrors of playing in farmyards. So for your consideration, I give you the 1977 public information film, Apaches. <laughs> <laughs> 